Hi everyone, my name is Silas and today I'm going to show you how to import pandas or any other python libraries in AWS Lambda. The reason why I like this method is because you don't have to import or install any other zip files or any other applications on your machine for this to work, especially when you're working with AWS Lambda. I've seen other videos where you have to install wheel files and download wheel files and all that. I find it more complex to do and this is the easiest way for me to import any python module or library in aws lambda and work with it i'm gonna show you how to do that let's dive in first this is the code that i'm working with as you can see there are no layers here for you to make this to work you have to import the module and add it as a layer on the lambda function that you're working with i have this code here and i'm going to test this code to see what happens when we don't have all these models installed i get an error message which says that no model name should be for a scraper aws lambda has json installed on the machine by default let's go to the console and you're going to use cloud9 for this purpose i'm going to open cloud9 aws cloud9 is an ide for running and writing scripts as well as debugging code the reason why i prefer this ide is because it is browser based and you don't have to provision any any machine for it to run also it is very good for collaboration with your colleagues so let's start create environment and then we are going to name this environment test this is optional description and just leave everything as default then create run and hit create then the next step is to open the ide so now we have the ide ready so the first step is to install the python version 3.8 because that is what the lambda function that we have is running on so to do that we're gonna install python 3.8 on the machine but to do that we're gonna say sudo zone linux dash extras dash install 3.8 command is wrong okay i made a mistake somewhere so yes then the next thing is to install pip to install pip we're gonna say call http bootstrap dot piper io dash pip py with no resolve so it's call call https slash boots strap dot p y p a dot io dash pip py okay this is done now we've installed so the next thing to do is to make a directory or a folder i'm gonna call the folder python make directory python let me have a directory open now we have the folder now the next step is to install pandas to do that we say python 3.8 pip install pandas t pan python which is the folder or directory that we've just created so i'm installing this inside that directory the files inside the directory so afterwards i'm going to install the shopify scraper and then zip it up and publish it to amazon lambda function the next step is to install the other library i'm going to use as well i'm just going to paste it here instead of pandas i'm going to paste the library here the module is called shopify script okay done the next step is to zip the folder i'm going to zip the folder by typing zip our layer dot zip python now we zipped up the folder the next thing would be to publish this folder or this zip file into aws lambda and to do that we type aws lambda publish layer dash version layer name yeah. we'll call it okay let's call it tests call it tests and zip b slash layer zip compatible runtimes python 3.8 that's the runtime don't forget to add the region of your aws lambda so mine is eu west 2 i hope i'm correct as for london so now we are done with the publishing let's check if this is here now to make use of it so to check that let's add a layer and we go and click on customs custom layer and then 
so we have the layer here test click on the layer and then click on the fashion one so now we've added should work now let's test the code and see yes it is working now so guys thank you so much if you really enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel this is my first video i'm just gonna share everything i know about data data engineering data analysis sql and so on the reason why i have this youtube channel is to show all the knowledge and skills that i've acquired over the years and also anything i'm learning new i'm gonna share it on this channel thank you so much guys